Hi, welcome back to Gab and Dad, except Dad's away again. So back by popular demand is... Me, Max. Max, uh, my guest co-host for today, and we are going to talk about... Ice Age 3, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. So that's a new movie out. It's the third Ice Age movie, obviously, Ice Age 3. And do you want to tell them what it's about? It's about... These four mammals that like help each other in like inventions and stuff like that. Yeah, they're like a family, even though they're not related to each other, some of the kinds of mammals. But uh, yeah, and they go on adventures. That's usually what happens. And what, what's this adventure this time? They, they go, they find this new world that's like underground, the Ice Age. Under the Ice Age world is what kind of world? Like the dinosaur world. Dinosaurs. It seems like we're always talking about dinosaurs. The last movie we talked about was Land of the Lost, which was about dinosaurs. So, I mean, kids like dinosaurs, right? Yeah. Why? Because they're cool. They have sharp teeth. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess if something has sharp teeth, it's automatically cool. And they're big. And they don't exist anymore. So it's fun to see them in movies. So now we've got the usual characters from the other movies, and we've got the dinosaurs. So who's your favorite character? The tiger. The tiger, yeah. Uh, Diego, who's voiced by Dennis Leary. That's probably one of my favorites, too, because he's like tries to be tough, but he's really a softy inside. Yeah. And so they all are trying to help each other. Um, what happens is that Sid, the sloth, John Leguizamo does the voice, finds eggs that he wants to take care of, but the eggs turn out to be dinosaurs. Baby, baby dinosaurs. And so, yeah, there's a little problem there when mammals and dinosaurs mix. And uh, so they have to rescue Sid from the dinosaur world, and so they all help each other. So it's really nice messages about um, families, the, the, the meaning of family and loyalty and, and all that sort of thing. But other than that, there's just lots of fun funny, cool things that happen. So what was your favorite part? My favorite part was when they got blown up from the big fly trap. Yeah, there's a part where they all got caught in this giant sort of a Venus fly trap and it was starting to digest them and then uh, the guy had to rescue them and then they all shot out of it. Well, that's a bit of a spoiler. They escaped from the Venus fly trap, but not much of a spoiler because there's no death in this movie, uh, which is good. It's very kid-friendly, obviously, um, much more so than Land of the Lost or even Transformers, other movies that are out right now that kids want to go see. At least this one, parents, you can feel confident that there's nothing disturbing. There's a few scary parts. There was a little boy next to us that was scared at a few parts, but just sort of cartoony scary. I mean, not really scary, right? Did you, Were you scared at any part? No. And it's in 3D, so some of the parts really come out of you, which is part of what makes it really fun, right? Yeah. Did you like that it was in 3D? Yeah. The other Ice Age movies weren't in 3D, so that it was extra fun to have, have this one in 3D. I think my favorite part was when they all were breathing in the gas that was making them laugh and making them talk really funny. That was really funny. Don't you think? Yeah. I think so. There were lots of, I think, funny parts. I was giggling a lot and uh, some good action and, as I said, nice messages. Um, our favorite old characters, also Ray Romano does the main voice of uh, Manny. Queen Latifah does Ellie's voice. So um, just some really enjoyable aspects for, for grown-ups as well. It's a nice length. It's, I think, under an hour and a half, which is perfect for this kind of movie. So a really fun uh, afternoon in the summer. What else did you think? I think it was really good, and I just really like it. Oh, I'm glad. Well, did you like it more or less than Land of the Lost? Uh, I like it about the same. About the same. And what about, did you like this one more or less than the other Ice Age movies, number one and number two? I like it more. More? Wow. Well, the first one was really good. I don't really remember the second one, so you like it more, maybe because it was 3D? Yeah. Yeah? And it was just a good movie. We liked it. High five. 10 out of 10? Yeah. You give everything 10 out of 10. Well, maybe one day we'll review a movie where you give it 
less than 10 out of 10, but I hope not because I always want you to like the movies that we go see. So this one we liked and uh, we recommend it. Anything else you want to say? Goodbye. Goodbye, that's a good thing to say. Goodbye.